Yeah, there you go. Richie the Gamer here. We're here with Gordon Mucho, Instinct Level 40. And to our knowledge, he is the first person in California, possibly the United States, not including territories, to hatch a shiny Pichu. Gourmet Mucho, please introduce us. How you guys doing? My name is Gourmet Mucho. Calvin is my real name. Okay. Level 40, Instinct. Still ripping that bird. Actually, walk this bad boy right here. Let's see that. 31 already kilometers that have been already been walked with the Zapdos because you know I gotta rep my bird because I'm already about 500 candies on each one but let me show you guys the real business right here shiny Pichu here's gonna be the proof because people said that you have already <laughs> hatched it but where's the proof we're gonna show you the video he's gonna try to delete it so you can see exactly what it says <laughs> yeah this is how I figured it out because it's really hard to find out if it's if it's a shiny or if it's not a shiny unless you check your actual Pokedex which I found out um, go ahead and uh, take that off right there and you can try to mass transfer and it will show up you cannot transfer a shiny po Pokemon and I hatched two two Pichus one right after the other and the other one transferred but as you can tell you can click on one but you cannot click on the other Same thing goes with uh, a legendary. Legendary Pokemon, you cannot transfer, mass transfer. So this is how I mainly figured it out at first, because they're so similar. Not too many stars. And as you can tell, if I go to the Pokedex, Loads up. There we go. Pichu. As there is different ones. Even though I only caught one, it still shows up both. One's a little bit darker than the other, like it's sunburnt. There you go. And let me show you guys that it was hatched here in California, Merced 209. Merced, California, United States. 8-17-2017, just last night. So. And let's see that level 40 one more time. Level 40. Level 40. Still slacking on XP, only at 28 million so far. Still hashtag scrub, but I'm getting there. And we ain't got much magic carp out here, so that's one of the ones I'm not golden. Unknowns. Still rocking 11 so far. Getting it. And just in case you guys didn't know, Cormac can also tell you his opinion on Chicago Fest. Was it worth it to you in Chicago? How much did you pay and do you think it was worth it for those who went? Well, I, th I think that it was enjoyable as soon as the event ended. Basically, at the fest, a lot of people were walking around, a lot of frowns on their faces, not being able to catch anything. Uh, even my friend right here, uh, Peachy, uh, Presley, he, he didn't get much as well, even though he had Sprint, and Sprint's supposed to be looking out for the people out there at the Pokemon Fest, and me being Verizon, which is supposed to be wonderful everywhere you go just about, didn't have the support, and they're saying that it was Cell Towers, but they should have been prepared, especially for people like me that spent... $300 on eBay to get my tickets which will never be refunded and going out there playing tickets to have a good time at this festival was one of the main things other than getting Chicago style pizza and everything else that's amazing in Chicago but met a lot of good people had a good time afterwards but the event itself was kind of frustrating for sure but love the hair across love all the Porygons and Machops hit me up at like 1500 candy so far so, I mean, yeah, it was a blast. Chicago style pizza, phenomenal. For everybody out there living in Chicago, man, I love you guys' pizza. Uh, but the fest itself, it was okay. The most amazing thing was is going right afterwards, running to that Lugia. But come to find out, out here in California, they had it first. It was kind of like, what the heck? Why would they do something like that to us? And then out there in Japan now with uh, Farfetch, not only... Kang is gone and all bunch of 
shiny Pichu, or Pikachus and everything and you know and Mewtwo now like and we're not even we get Heracross which is only a couple hours away you know on a plane so. alright thank you all for Gourmet Mucho Calvin that's right, it that's it Mucho <laughs> Oh my god! Did you? Um, this ain't ever being done. We're never gonna finish. This is what instinct level 40s like to do on the free time. <laughs> well, you told me to go this way. Then you told me to go that way. And then you told me to go this way. Make up your mind. Okay, no, face that way though. You still haven't listened. Right there.